More so I can find things when I need to roll quickly yeah. than anything else. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't really matter that much to me. I'm not that OCD. Well, I know, but they might be. No, the people watching are going to be. Yeah, someone, someone's going to watch it. They're like, why is there a D10 in the D8 section? <laughs> or they're going to be like, what even happened? Yeah, they'll be like, what are these strange numbers? Cousins were first into it, um, but then they introduced my brothers, who then introduced it to me. I was very young though, so I just liked the models and I pretended to actually play it. I didn't know the rules really though, so I gave up on it and then came back to it. After I got a bit more into the rules and could actually learn, I was probably about 12 when I got back into it. I started hearing a lot about Dungeons and Dragons and thought, God, that looks like, like great fun. And I have two brothers, one younger, one older. So I managed to go out and buy like a beginner set, a base set of Dungeons and Dragons with ready-made dungeons and ready-made rule books and, and, and things like that. And uh, we used to sit and play that, just the three of us, which was interesting. For me personally, um, I had a really tough time last year, uh, mental health wise. Um, you know, it was, it, was, it was a really, really bad year. And just having a group of people of similar interests that you can discuss with and just take your mind off things for a while, get out of your head. I mean, we, we all get together and go to somebody's house and sit around a table and, you know, um, it's usually on a Sunday. And we sit all day on a Sunday and we drink a few beers and we eat some junk food and we put some music on and we sit and laugh. And obviously it's a group of guys in their, you know, 20s, 30s getting together, so the chat gets a bit ridiculous and, you know, people are ripping into each other, making jokes, and it's nice just to hang out. Uh, what do you get out of it then? A um, bit of fun, bit of na banter and chatting, um, social aspects, and a bit of a joking and fun and winding up each other as we're playing as well, so it's part of my nature is winding up each other as we're <laughs> doing things. Well, my hubby's been gaming since, well, before I knew him. And as the kids gotten older, it's become a family thing. So the kids get involved. Um, there's so many little things you can go into. Um, brings them closer together. They've got something in common to talk about. What are the, would you feel a positive impact? I'd say confidence, the social side of it. Um, because, I mean, as the kids go out, they meet other people with a, a like mind. Um, again, they can have a laugh, they learn rules, strategies. It's difficult to say if there's one main positive, but the social side of it, I think, it's just like a growing family. They've, they've met people from all over the world, um, people that they wouldn't ever have thought of, you know, just, just hanging out with, um, maybe not in their usual group of friends, and then they discover they've got this thing in common. And it, it just brings people together. It really, really panders to my sort of creative lust, I guess I could say. Like, I love to make things. I love to be things. Like, I'm a performer. I'm a kind of like, I like doing drama and stuff like that. It's not too different from what I used to do with my brother when I was extremely young. Like, we used to, um, we used to do sort of like what would now be known as LARPing, but we just called it imaginary games because we just made them up and you would like get some like some wooden swords that he had just, uh, shaped at his grandparents or something like that and we would just start hitting each other with them. <laughs> it feels more mature in the kind of sense that people can look at me doing this, I can explain it to them well and I won't be given too much of an odd look but like I feel like that it's definitely like helped me bridge this sort of weird vein now that I'm growing up I can't do that thing. It sort of pulled me into a way where it's like wait there is a way to do it though still as an adult and I can do it now. I, I need it, to be honest. Mm.